Hello guys, what is going on? NV2 Games here for another video. Today's gonna be a really quick one. I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to get the Pixel mod the easiest way. This will literally take you less than five minutes if you follow the steps. Um, so we're gonna get right into the first part. So first, what you wanna do is you can click the link in the description or if for some reason you can't do that, um, just type in Technic Launcher um, right here. That's T-E-C-H-N-I-C Launcher and then uh, load in and the first link you should see is um, technicpack.net download. You're gonna click on that and then scroll down to the bottom or if you click this link, all you have to do is click get launcher and then scroll down to the bottom. You're gonna click the Windows link or if you're on Mac or Linux, you can click those links. But for me personally, I'm on Windows. You can also do this on Chrome or Edge. It really doesn't matter. You can download it either way. And then once you download it, you're gonna click over here, open when done. You're gonna to wanna to go through the normal setup wizard like you normally would. Um, and it'll open the uh, technicalauncher.exe. Okay guys, then you're gonna go through your normal setup wizard just like you would. Um, go through a normal setup. I'd recommend putting it on whichever um, drive has the most space. Now I forgot to mention this before, you do have to be on PC. You can't do this on phone or console or mobile or console. So if you're on either of those, this will not work for you guys. This is only a PC tutorial. But then once you go through all that, download it on your biggest drive that has the most room. The reason you need to do that is because all your mods that you download will be downloaded into this file. And if you download a lot of mods later in the future, it can actually take up a lot of space. Um, that's, so that's why you need a lot of space on that drive. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you'll open some screen like this. You're just gonna wanna put in your Motion account email and Motion account password. This is your Minecraft, Minecraft account email and password. So anytime you want to log into Minecraft, if, for example, if you got a new PC and you want to log into Minecraft.net or change your skin, um, that's what you put in here. You need to put in the uh, email linked with your account and the password linked with your account. Um, but I already did that, so I'm gonna load right in. Uh, you want you can check member account it's going to make it a lot easier to log in in the future and then you're going to want to just log in now it'll take you to a screen just like this where you can see clearly discover mod pack news you have all this um, and this will open every time you start the technic launcher so you can search it on your pc um, or it'll create a shortcut on your desktop for later use then all you're going to want to do is click on mod packs and then depending on what mod pack you want whether it's pixelmon um, or Crazy Craft or Vanilla, which is in, is in a mod pack, or Lucky Block, they have it. You can just search it if it's not on the main menu here. But this is the um, Pixelmon mod that I play personally. And then once you do that, all you're gonna have to do is pick the mod pack you want, in, the, in this case for this tutorial, Pixelmon. And then you're just gonna click play. Now it'll start loading something at the bottom. This will take a while the first time, but it's 10 times quicker the second time and from that point on, but it has to download the original mod pack um, for you here. So this is modding, this is going really fast because I've obviously downloaded this already. Um, but after this, it'll open your Minecraft under Pixelmon Plus with the mod installed, and then it'll have to download a few more things in Minecraft. Now, once you get in Minecraft, it's gonna be a really simple thing. You're gonna be in Pixelmon. Um, so I'll show you guys that right now. So as you guys can see, I'm just finishing up my download. There we go, it finished right there. And then once you finish your download, it'll open a screen just like this that just says Pixelmon Plus. Now all you have to do is either click single player if you're planning to play by yourself, create a new world, or click multiplayer if you're looking to do a server. This is a server I play on and recommend, Poke Central. If I go here, um, this is the server IP, you can put this in. Um, this is personally my favorite server, and if you watch any of my Pixelmon streams, this is the server that I play on most of the time. You're just gonna wanna put in a Pixelmon server. So obviously you can't play Pixelmon on something like Hypixel or, or Mindplex, um, because that just won't work. You gotta make sure you're getting a dedicated Pixelmon server. Once you do that, you should be able to load in. And once you load into the server, it should pop right up right away, and you should have the Pixelmon mod installed. I'm gonna go into Ruby, which is the server that I play on in my live streams. Um, and when you load in, you should see that now you're in Pixelmon. You see all my Pokemon are on the left side. Um, I have Pokeballs on my hand, uh, all the items here, summary. Um, full mod is working just like how it should. Um, and you can play this um, with yourself, or if you join a server, you can play with friends, um, obviously. And uh, that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you guys have any problems or questions, make sure you leave them in the comments down below. That's it for this quick tutorial. Um, if you have any issues, like I said, comment them down below or message them to me, and I'll try to fix them or make another tutorial if it's a complicated fix. 
Um, that's all for me. If you guys did enjoy this video or it helped you in any way, please make sure to leave a like. And uh, that's it for Innovate 7 Games. I'll see you guys all next time. Peace.